What? Come here, please. Tell me before I come there. Oh, I need to rub butter on my foot. No. Pam, please. I have country croc. D no. Ow, ow. Ryan! 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 What is that? People, please. I told you to get rid of the cell phones. It's my biofeedback machine. Oh, okay. What is that, like a video game? It alerts me when my stress level goes up so I can try to calm down. You have stress? Yes. During our relaxation exercise? Let me get you some water. No, no, I'll okay. help you up. I'll help you up. Here we go. Here oh, we go. Michael, Let would, me get would you, you Would you step back, please? Okay. Please. All right. A little further. Okay. That is better. I think that thing is on the fritz. This morning, the phone guy comes in, and he shows Michael that our phones have a PA function. And then he just left. Don't be blunders then to the principal's office. Your mother called, and it appears that you wet the bed again. So you have to get home to wash your sheets because they're yellow and they're wet with your urine. You and at six foot six from the University of North Carolina, Jim Albert. That's pretty funny. <laughs> hey, you know what? Did I drop my uh what the heck? Is that uh you find it? I didn't. I'll oh, look somewhere else. All right. All right. Do you like fries with that? Please drive around. Who's your emergency contact? Stacy. Pick up. Hello? This is Mike Tyson. <laughs> you have a call from Eddie Murphy? Hello? Shrek! Shrek, I'm a donkey! I'm a donkey, Shrek! <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's me. Hello, Rye. What? Okay. Calm down. I just have a small problem. I told you not to call about small problems. Yeah, well, when I call about big problems, you don't like that either. So, make up your mind, kiddo. Pam, line three. Okay, thanks. New York, as it turns out, is very expensive. And I ran out of money. I thought about selling a kidney, but Michael offered to get me a part-time job at corporate. Hey. Pamela. Of course, now Michael knows where to reach me 16 to 18 hours a week. Hey, Michael. Pamela. Miss you, kiddo. Miss you. So much. Yes, is Mr. Hudson there? Yeah, who is this? Well, I'm just calling because you responded positively to... Michael. Stanley? Why are you calling me here at home? Senor, are you happy Michael. with your long distance service? Michael, service? I know that's you. Why are you calling me here at home? Have you, con have you considered satellite television? Michael, I know that's you. I know your voice. All right. Why are you calling me here at home? When I'm at home at night in my own house, in my sweats, drinking some red wine, watching my mystery stories, the last thing in the whole godforsaken world I want to hear is the voice of Michael Scott. Psst. Yep. You want me to come into your office? Oh. Sure. What if Pam was a lesbian? What if she brought her partner in to work? Would that be crossing the line? No. What if they made out in front of everybody? Well, that would be... At home. And I told everybody everything about it. 
Okay, I'm lost. Okay, well, then let's act it out. Pam, you will be girl A, and girl B will be... Okay, use the doll. Pam? Pam? I would gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Excuse me one second, please. What is it that you need right now that can't wait until I'm off the phone with a customer? Ooh, a customer. Well, sound the alarm. Okay. And for you? Tell me, Dana, how is your chicken breast? Oh, it's great. It's served with our world-famous wing sauce. Mmm, sounds yummy. I will have a chicken breast. Hold the chicken. Oh. <laughs> is that what you really want? No, I'm going to have the gourmet hot dog. Great. So I need a little treat for the gang, something to win their affections back. Back? Why is that, Michael? Well, I ran down Meredith in my car. Oh, did you do this on purpose? No, I was being negligent. But she's in the hospital. She's fine, recovering nicely. Tiny little crack in her pelvis. But she will be did up this happen and... on company property? Yes. It was okay. on company property with company property. So, double jeopardy. We are fine. I don't, I don't think you understand how jeopardy works. Oh, right. I'm sorry. What is we're fine? I haven't done anything since Christmas. Pam clearly has just given up trying. Hey, Stanley, is that jacket made of updog? I'm on the phone. Okay, so for the 1.5% increase, pro, everyone gets a little bit. Con, you look like a nerd. Con, no one gets as much as they did last year. Pro, you get to share your pros and cons list with the other nerds. Pro, no favoritism. Con, you unzip your pants and you find that there's a calculator down there. He leaves work, he's on his way home. Wham, his kappa is detated from his head. You have just spit on my face. Well, you know what, there's something wrong with you. Let's have an auction, let's do this. We'll auction off people, like in the olden days. Yeah. la de doo No, congratulations. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. tell yeah, me. I'll take that down right now. Was it a spoiled little girl with big lips or an odd little boy with a cowboy obsession? Hold on one second. Invite them on the tour. Hold on one sec. It's actually Blue Cross from Pennsylvania. Really? Yep. It's got a big claim. We need another one immediately. Yeah, the booth is lame without it. You brought the one. Are you mental? Michael, do you remember you specifically told me to only bring one sheet of paper? Mm. You said it only takes one sheet to make a difference. And I said, are you sure, Michael? And you said, Pam, Pam, Pam. And then you sneezed in my tea, and then you said, don't worry, it's just allergies. Do you remember that? Uh, I don't. OK, I'll go look for another one. This is Pardon me. Well, speak of the devil, we were just talking about you. Have a seat. OK. Uh, Jim here is uh, thinking about Taking himself out of the running for band manager. Yep. Oh, really? Oh, that is so sweet of you. I am the only one here who has a legitimate disability. Although I'm sure Stanley has had his fair share of obstacles. I'm not disabled, and neither are you. Okay. What does this look like to you, Stanley? Mailboxes, etc. Shut it. Okay. You mean Neverland? This is Tito. <laughs> what? Call it from Michael. Yeah. Stop texting. Michael, Put come on. Away. I'm texting about you. Come on. Okay. God, this guy's annoying. I write, who's this? And then he writes, who's this? And then I write, shut up. And then he writes, shut up. Jesus, Michael, you're texting yourself. And then. You look up to PowerPoint, and we are in. We are going to register. You hit register. Updates are ready. I should update. Um, estimated time, 12 minutes. So this should take about five or 10 minutes. This is the first time you've opened PowerPoint. Why? You didn't prepare a presentation at all, did you? You know what? I had a really rough night, and my boss can back me up on that. I'm your boss. My other boss, Mr. Figaro. You have another job.
I think we need to go. No. Don't touch my... You need to double dimple your tie, Jim. Come on. Here we go. I want you to look good. I can't... Turn around. No. Come on. There we go. I don't want them thinking that you're some sort of country pumpkin. It's monster.com. Singular. Thank you. Come on, let's Brian. Go. Brian, I want to see you with a hot dog in your mouth right now. Uh -huh. Come on, let's do this. All right, everybody. Oh, my God, Pam. Those make you look so ugly. Um, Pam, in order to get hotter, you take glasses off. You're moving in the wrong direction. I don't have my uh, contacts. That's bad. Melanie, I can't even hear you. It's just noise coming out of an ugly scientist. Um, in prison, you are somebody's bitch. Oh, and you. You, my friend, would be the belle of the ball. Don't drop the soap. Don't drop the soap. Michael, please. Look at you. You are so mature and old and little man now. You're like our little okay, man. Okay, little old man boy. Michael, everybody. Beard. Um, bearded man boy. Wow. Let me say something. I know I used to be a temp here, but now everything is different. Yeah. I'd like your respect. I am your boss now. You're going to have to treat me the same way you treated Jan. Oh, wow. So. Mm, that's a little kinky. I don't swing that way. Okay. Woo! <laughs> swing that way. I think Ryan has a gay crush on me. Enough, here. okay? Oh. This is inappropriate and it stops right now. Nope, actually, this year, uh, no group tab. We're going to be doing separate checks. Oh, oh, hey, buddy. You said we could bring our families. I did. And why didn't you, Stanley? I did. My wife's name is Terry. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting Terry. It's this person whose hand I'm holding, Michael. <sighs> oh, yeah. Shut it. Um, good. Speaking of relationships, of all all way, shapes, and forms. Number eight, learn how to take off a woman's bra. What? We will demonstrate on Pam. No. And no. Come on. You just twist your hand until something breaks. Oh. Well, you get the picture. Thanks, Pam. Well, it has been nice seeing you again, my friend. You too. Oh, Ryan, I need a girlfriend so bad. Michael, let me go. Let me go, Michael. All right. Hey, Ryan, can I get you a pencil from the warehouse? Uh, no thanks, I'm good. Well, it's okay, I'm going down. Um, oh. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! There you go. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Michael, could you get me a pen from down in the warehouse? Don't mind if I do. Uh, see you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Fresh from the warehouse. I'm really sorry, but I have to let you go. And it's purely budgetary. It's not personal. Ah, I'm gonna kill myself! Wow. I'm going to kill myself and it's your fault! That's an overreaction. Parkour! Michael! Parkour! Parkour! Extreme! Parkour! Parkour! This is parkour. Internet sensation of 2004. And it was in one of the Bond films. It's pretty impressive. The goal is to get from point A to point B as creatively as possible. So technically, they are doing parkour as long as point A is delusion and point B is the hospital. Parkour. Hey, little girl, what would you like for Christmas? Ooh, you have been a very naughty girl, I see. Yes. Michael, Terry Hudson, returning your call. <sighs> you called Stanley's wife? Oh, oh. Yeah, a long time ago, just to make sure she was out of town. Oh, God. Don't take it. No, I have to take it, or it'll seem suspicious. If you talk to her, you're going to tell her about Stanley, and that's going to seem more suspicious. No, 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 I can do this. You can't do this. Yes, I can. I am going to tell her that I need to redecorate my condo, and I need her help. We will haggle about money, and I will back down, and then I won't talk to her until this whole Cynthia thing is blown over. Sounds Michael, terrible. We think don't. you should. <clears throat> hey, what up, Cynthia?
Just hang on a second, Cynthia. Well, it turns out that Terry was already suspicious because she had caught Stanley and Cynthia a few months ago. So Stanley promised that he would stop, and he did. End of story. Well, not exactly. Uh, Cynthia kept calling him, she would not stop calling him, and she was in love with him. Oh, and get this, Cynthia also married. So, do you want me to stop dating your mom? Is that how we're gonna get past this? Because I will. Mm, yes. Well, that is not gonna happen. Then why'd you even offer? Because I assumed that you want me to be happy because I want you to be happy. Michael, let me make this very easy for you. I could give a about your happiness. Stop dating my mother. You know what, I'm gonna start dating her even harder. What's that supposed to mean? You know what it means. And I've known some wonderful women Holly, Carol, Jan. Helene. Helene? My mother. Oh. My mother, Helene. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. All of, all of the greatest loves of my life. Brian started the fire! It was always burning! Everybody it was turning! Michael, 5K means five kilometers, not 5,000 miles. Man. Hey, 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 oh my what God. are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, you said come in. No, I didn't. Just, oh my God. Please get out. Come in. May I enter the room? Yes, or come in. See how I did that? That's the way you should enter a room. You knock and then you wait for the all clear. You couldn't have taken off all your clothes in the men's room? Yes, but I have an office, so why would I do that? Mm -hmm. On average, how many hours a day do you spend naked in your office, just ballpark? European offices are naked all the time. They're so not. Besides, my shirt tail covered most of it, so... I didn't see where it started, but I saw where it ended. <sighs> gross. That's not gross. It is a human body. What is your problem? Pam, you're an artist, right? Think of me as one of your models. You know who I really think should go? Stanley. Oh, I don't know. It's not a good idea, Michael. He needs to rest. No rest for the sick. We are not always going to be there to coddle your heart back when it disappears to be working. What are you going to do if you're by yourself and your heart stops? I would die. And you're okay with that? I'm okay with the logic of it. Uh -uh. No, no, no. Come on, get up. Let's do this. Yes, I had a heart attack. I would quit, but I'm too old to find another job. And I don't have enough save to retire. I feel like I'm working in my own casket. You know what, Pam? If in 10 years, I haven't had a baby, and you haven't had a baby. No, Michael. 20 years. No, Michael. 30. Sure. It's a deal. What? Oh, nothing. Jim's been looking at me kind of a lot all week. I would be creeped out by it, but it's nothing compared to the way Michael looks at me. thought something would happen tonight, too. So alike. So alike. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm I rejecting your I'm, what? kiss. I didn't. Let's think this through. If we ask corporate for that, then... They are either gonna say yes or no. Could go either way. We don't know what they are going to say. Think it through. You have to think it through. Because if they say no, 
can we not? No, yes, we have to. You know why? Because I don't like to be cooped up in that office, in that box, all day long. Heisman! Because I need to think. Okay, Jim? Oh, Kevin! Ooh! <laughs> uh, nice catch. Mm, 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 mm. Oscar! Intercepted! Coat! Michael just rented the Devil Wears Prada. Steak! Where's my steak? He's a big Meryl Streep fan, so I shouldn't be surprised that he's identified with her character. You're gonna let me know when we're close, right? Yes. All Actually, right. I will tell you right now. It's a club called Chat Room, and there's a password to get in, which is actually password. So. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, that is an invitation to an online party. No. No, yeah. I'm sure that's not. Are there uh, three W's at the beginning of the address? Yes. Yep. Look at those wrinkles. Blacks do crack, not crack the drug. Okay. Hey, Dwight, he found it. You know what? I'm just gonna call a cab from here. All right. You're gonna miss the best prank ever. All no. right. Wait, what are you planning on doing? Do you really wanna know? Oh God. Follow me, come here. Here's what we brought. We brought uniforms from the warehouse. I brought silly string. Dwight brought gasoline and chunks of rubber to make stink bombs. Or real bombs. No, no, not real bombs. Yeah, come on, it'll be so badass. Uh, <laughs> maybe, I don't know, I don't know. No. Could be badass. Well, nope. yeah, uh, no, will. absolutely we're not doing come this. Come on, I already filled the bottles with the gas. It's gonna be so badass. Are you kidding me? We've been driving around with this in the trunk the whole time? Do not sleep with them on the first date. It gives them all the power. Sleep with who? Whom, whom, whom? My neighbor, Alan, they're going on a date tonight. Oh, wow. Oh my God. I have a great idea. You know what you should do? Be hilarious. Wear your wedding dress. It would be <laughs> a great icebreaker. And your veil. Ta yeah. <laughs> do it. I'll probably just wear this. Really? Okay. Well, word of advice, unbutton that top button. Let those things breathe. Well, I would definitely have sex with Ryan. Because he is going to own his own business. This next award goes somebody who really lights up the office. Somebody who I think a lot of us cannot keep from checking out. The hottest in the office award goes to Ryan the Temp. Yeah. Hi ho. You sexy thing. Crazy thing, you. Here you go. Hanging in a hundred and a half. Come from, baby. There you go. There you go. Woo! Bells, bourbon, and bullets. A murder mystery dinner party game. It is so much fun. Everybody plays a character. We go around the room. We try to figure out who did it. Hey, I'm wondering if this is a um, terrible idea. This is my call, Jim. Big picture stuff. It's about murder. I thought we agreed that we wouldn't do things like this. Tube City, you owe me one. Co-managing is a give and take. You have to pick your battles. One of the battles that I picked was to stop Michael from running plastic tubes all over the office and placing hamsters inside of them. He was gonna call it Tube City. So, yes, I do owe him one. Oh, man. Good, we're all here. We can get started. Michael, have a seat. We're not Have a seat today. like everybody else. Okay. This is so my months. office, Ryan. Well, hey, there he is, secret weapon. Wow, <laughs> look at you. You are, uh, you're like the new and improved Pam, Pam 6.0. Oh, <laughs> look, oh, hey, no cat fights, you two. What? I uh, see that you gave me that form that I asked you to give me, Stanley the Manly, so thank you for that. Proficiency in necessary skills. Excellent. <laughs> and now from my old hometown, Scranton, Pennsylvania, my former boss, 
Michael Scott. Hey, I just think you should know that one of my salesmen beat your stupid computer. So take that ass. Always a jokester. Ah, this is our receptionist, Pam. Pam! 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 Pam Beasley. Uh, Pam has been with us um, for forever. Right, Pam? Well, I don't know. If you think she's cute now, you should have seen her a couple of years ago. What? Uh, any messages? Stanley, Earth to Stanley. Not me. Yes, you. Come on, Stanley. Put your little game down and, and join the group. No. Stanley, we're do having a little Leave brain me alone, damn we're it. having a brainstorm session. Did I stutter? A crossword puzzle, Stanley? Seriously, are you learning nothing here? Mm-hmm. What do you mean, mm-hmm? I mean I'm learning nothing. Okay. Jimbo? Holly, oh, move the shower. Did you see Holly's butt? Nope. I didn't. <laughs> you know why? Why? Because most of the time, friends don't talk about other friends' butts. I, yeah, I know. But what have you learned about her? I learned that she broke her left leg twice in one year. I learned that she's allergic to sesame seeds. I learned that she has read Lonesome Dove three times. Nice. And that her butt refuses to quit. Well, I tried. <laughs> you have to, you have to agree with me. That's insane. Let's That's insane. Later. I thought you were to pee. Congratulations. You. Have you lost your mind? Get off my property before I call the police. All right, okay. we got it. Good. Leave it at the door? Or... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. No. Oh. Don't hold the door, please. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You wearing a thong? What? <laughs> Pam, I have another little project for you. Does it have to do with these shopping bags filled with hot dogs? Smart as a whip. Yes, these are pre-cooked, so it's not absolutely necessary but I would appreciate it if you could heat up 800 hot dogs for a little contest I'm going to be having. I would greatly appreciate it. When's the contest? Like, um, 10 minutes. How am I supposed to get- There's a bunch. Come on, Stanley, you're losing you. You're losing you. Do it. Michael. This is you we're talking about. Michael. Okay, okay, I'll show them. But the doctor said, if I can't find a new way to relate more positively to my surroundings, I'm going to die. Andy? A throne for your highness. I'm not sitting in a wheelchair. No, no, no. No debate. You are going to sit in that wheelchair until you are back on your feet. I'm going to die. Much advice you seek. Do you know who that is? Fozzie Bear. Mm, no. That was Yoda. Okay, so what we do is we drive all day and we stay in hotels together. Right. Separate rooms. Well, that goes without saying. I'm gonna say it anyway. Hey, look at what you're wearing again, Pam. Have you ever seen a magician's assistant? That's... This is a new cardigan. Kind of blech. Maybe you could tie it around your waist or lose the shirt underneath or something. No. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm seeing some confused faces out there. Let me slow down a little bit, break this down. Okay, the more stickers you sell, the more profit, fancy word for money, you have to buy PlayStations and Beanie Babies. Michael, and products. what we normally do here is more of a question and answer well, thing. Well, okay, well, I'm just kind of getting going. Yeah, right. I know. Um, all right, okay, well, we can do questions. Michael, you remember my daughter, Melissa? Oh, yes, hello, how are you? Good to see you. Wow, you've really grown up. You know what? Don't mind me saying so. She has turned into a stone cold fox. Better keep the frat boys away from her. I'm in eighth grade. Oh. Uh, She's in middle school. Yeah, middle school, amazing. No. It is extraordinary. An extraordinary time. I have recently taken a lover. Well, that's great. Congratulations. Who's the lucky lady? Pam's mom. What? Pam's mom, Helene. Remember from your wedding? You're messing with me. About what? You did not have sex with Pam's mom. Oh, big time. What kind of car does she drive? She drives a green camera, and the seats go all the way down. All the way down. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. <laughs> what? Mr. Temp, having lunch by the car. Let us play with him. This would be hilarious. Oh, we are playing phone tag. Seven new messages. First new message. Hi, Ryan. This is Saddam Hussein. Next message. Hey, Ryan, this is your girlfriend. And I'm mad. The last pickup for overnight deliveries is at 7, mm -hmm. so you need to have them signed by then or much earlier. Chillax, Pam. Stop Pam MSing. That's pretty good. Um, actually, I'm sending Ryan on a top secret mission. Tell her what it is. Updating emergency contacts? Well, is that really a priority? Is it a priority? Oh, I don't know. Um, what if there's a tornado, Pam? People's legs are crushed under rubble. Please, would you be so kind as to call my wife? No, I can't, because we don't have any emergency contact information, because Pam said it wasn't a priority. Think. Think with your head, Pam. Okay. Well, she walks out. Stanley, how about that hot picture you have by your desk? Centerfold in the Catholic schoolgirl's outfit? I mean, it is hot, it is sexy, and it turns him on, and I will admit, the uh, best part of my morning is staring at it. But what, are we going to just take it away? That is my daughter. She goes to Catholic girls' school. I'm taking it down right now. Oh, breakfast. I got your sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. Yummy, yummy. Thank you. Ryan. What was the thing uh, you needed me to come in early for? Um, the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. But thank you. And why don't you just take a couple hours off as is yours? Home alone, risky business. Take your pants off, run around. Whatever you ought to do. I'm just gonna take a nap in my car till work starts. Okay. Okay. Healthier. I'll watch those climbs. I thought uh, you might want to use this time to authorize some checks. I thought that maybe you could wait in line for me while I go to the bathroom. You're an angel. Hey, why don't you just go up to your office, get some work done, and I'll bring you a pretzel. Because I like them a certain way, and if it gets screwed up, then this whole thing's blown. You know, I just think it's really important that you be productive today. Pam. Productivity starts with patience and determination. I'll be back. Yes. Have you lost your mind? Do you think I'm gonna let you do this to me? Hmm. I've watched you screw up this office for 10 years, and I'm filing a lawsuit, and I'm gonna tell them about every stupid thing you've ever done up in this office. All right, All right. okay. You know what? Now you know how I feel. This was a fake firing. Lesson learned. Good work, everybody. Very nice. So I'm not fired. That's it. And uh, do you have anything to say to me? Oh, yes, I do. Hey, what I think Jim is trying to say is that they had an accident. And you know what? These two people, they're living together. They are having lots of consensual sex. Yeah. They were living together? Yes, yes, they were living together, yes. And you know what? You can't expect them to be careful every time because, frankly, it's just a different sensation. Michael. When you come, well, am I wrong? They say it's not different, but it's a different sensation. Oh, my God. When no, you please. use mm. something to block, yeah, I think everybody knows what I am talking about. It's not necessarily different for the woman, Michael. but it is different. Okay, okay, okay. Michael. For the Stop. All right. You have reached the offices of Dunder Mifflin Scranton. Currently, the entire staff is out doing the Michael Scott DMSM PMC Rabies Awareness Pro-Am Fun Run Race. For the cure. Leave a message.